Hi, I'm Daniel from Tumble. In this video, I'm going to show you our new uh, plugin for WordPress to get your hype animations quickly embedded in your self hosted WordPress sites. So you'll see it in the WordPress plugin uh, site. It's an official plugin, and you can quickly add it from your plugin page. So if you log into your website and go to the plugin area, you'll, you'll click Add New and then type in Tumult Hype Animations. And then you'll see the plugin here with our logo. You can click Install and then click Active. Uh, by the way, this is based on uh, earlier work from Eralion, and we have improved upon it. So once you have your uh, plugin installed, you'll get a new button on your Add New Post page, and you'll also get a new admin page area. I'm going to show you the quick and simple method of getting a hype animation in this plugin, and then I'll move on to other uh, tips and tricks. So I'm going to start from this um, hype animation. It's a responsive document in the width dimension. It's important to not create documents that are responsive in both the width and the height. Um, this will cause problems with your theme. So once you have uh, your document, you will export it as a OAN widget. And this is similar to a zip file. It uh, compresses everything to, into a single folder, or a single file that is. And you'll see it right here. So now going back to our WordPress site, I'm going to click the Hype Animations button. Then it'll show you your maximum upload size here. Now this is based on your php.ini settings. If this limit seems a bit low for your setup, uh, you might want to contact your web host. So now I can just drag this OAM file right into that area, and it replaces uh, where the place where my cursor was. It puts a new hype animations shortcode. So a shortcode is just the way that this plugin uh, creates its embeds. So to see if this works, I'm going to click Preview. And if everything goes well, we have our document, and it's responsive. So it worked. So now what this plugin does is it adds a new um, entry into a database that includes the location of your um, document, a profile badge in our case, and then it gives you the short code that you can copy. So in this uh, row, you'll see you can update with any changes you have. You can also copy the code of uh, this document. So I could copy this and place this anywhere on the web, and this will display my document and sort of use my WordPress site as a uh, host or a hosting provider for my uh, pipe animations. And of course, you can delete uh, uh, items here. And you can enclose it in either an iframe or a diff. I'm going to go into a little more detail about that in uh, the forum post about this plugin, which I'll get to later. Um, earlier I mentioned it's important not to check the responsive checkbox here um, unless you have a minimum height set for your enclosing div. So by default, your responsive document, if it's set to 100%, will just expand to the available height. And for most WordPress themes, that available height is flexible, which means your height animation thinks it's zero. So sometimes your document won't appear. So if you have responsive check down width and height, you're going to need to set a CSS class and define a minimum height for your document. So that's easy to do. We can set min height 600. And this is just a class that I define. And then you'll just need to add an additional snippet of CSS to your theme. So if I copy this class, I'll need to click Update. And what that does is it applies this class to the profile badge embed code. So I'll then need to add something similar to this, where I have a class and a minimum height set to a value. So this will make sure that that height is never um, less than 600 pixels. Um, go into the, this a little bit more detail in the forum post, which is right here. Um, 
There's a few other things in this uh, post, uh, things to avoid, such as um, don't use any spaces or weird characters in your uploads. Um, and also, um, uh, there's one conflict that I've discovered, uh, the auto-optimized plugin. So this might uh, update. This is a, definitely a live page. So if you have any questions or issues with this plugin, uh, please respond in this post or comment on this video, and I'll do my best to help. Thanks very much.